I feel so calm. I don't want to go back to that planet. <laughs> Oxygen refill. Spot a tree, walk towards it. I should have read that the first time I died. <laughs> if anyone missed the first time I died, I saw a dude just chilling out on the moon. I was like, oh, I didn't know we could breathe on the moon. So I took off my suit and I hopped back out. Turns out he had a tree and I did not. So, lesson learned. I hate going to this planet. It's so dirty and smelly. Oh, it's no quantum moon. You're right about that. I want to land on the thing. I'm gonna fucking kill myself again. I'm so sorry. The thing has a lander though. I can land on it. Let's, let's match. Okay, match velocity. Will it let me like track to it or can I just match velocity? Get the fuck back here. Okay. Uh, 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 ooh, 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 ooh. I am going to do this. This is really hard, actually. Sit, 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 sit on it, sit on it. <laughs> okay. Oh, shit. No, 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 don't touch the green planet. Don't touch the dirty green planet. I think when I just... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, fuck, I hit something. Uh, oh, this is disorienting and bad. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Come on, I gotta get this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, fuck it, close enough. Landing gear damage? Do not care, we made it. <laughs> like a glove. I was so about to go outside without my suit. Fuck this. Okay, we're in zero G, so I'm not gonna hurt myself. <laughs> I'm in a Fabergé egg of the future, I guess? Um, hey. Open the fuck up. Oh, I kinda- I recognize it from the diagram that I got showed. That I was shown. Oh, I hate zero G. So many things about space that I'm like, yeah, I fucking hate this. <laughs> I do enjoy being out here. I just don't enjoy the, um, the tumbling. Oh, this would make a great movie design, like a set design where you're in a ship, except it looks like that. Two thousand one, a space odyssey, except it looks like this. That'd be so cool. The only art I know is the Moaning Lisa. <laughs> oh man. Can I have gravity? <gasps> and they provided me 0. 0.2 times gravity. Thank you. Oh shit. Oh. Oh. That's cool. Well, where? Oh no. I guess. Come back. Well, what do you do there? There we go. Cannon aligned with randomly selected probe tra trajectory, gravity field activated. Six minutes, 49 seconds ago, request to launch probe received from Ash Twin Project. Okay. B 
Begin launch log. Orbital probe cannon. Launch request received. Probe launch successful. Probe tracking module is receiving data from probe. Warning, orbital probe cannon structure compromised during launch. Damage to multiple modules detected. Okie dokie. Orbital probe cannon damage report. Severe structural stress detected. Ac assessing damage to modules. Control module intact. No structural damage. Launch module. Viewport window fractured. Module exposed to vacuum of space. So wait, don't go to the launch module. Okay. <laughs> probe tracking module. Missing. So do go to it? Okay. Um... That's neat. I gotta go on the ceiling again. I'm a little, I'm a little kerfuffled. I, I'm gonna hop on the ceiling again. Let me read. There's nothing to read. There's only places to go and people to see. Okay. Um, let's plop this bad boy in there. So this is what launch module looks pretty bad, looks pretty torn up. Oh, oh, but there's, okay. Um, I have bad news, Avans. Yarrow says there was a problem with the proposed power source, so the orbital probe cannon won't be asked to fire. I hope you're pulling my locomotive limb here, Cassava. I like how the corny versions of um, normal phrases that they do with the aliens in this. Tell Privet and Mallow they should return from the cannon. My spouse and I will remain here at Construction Yard for now. An update. Mallow and I will join you and Daz. Privet left to visit her brother. She fears Idea may feel responsible. I wish I were my friend, but no. They aren't certain they can fix the problem, so the orbital probe cannon is on indefinite hiatus. Okay. Mallow, my better 50%. Cassava is sending the last of the cannon components. Soon, relatively speaking, we'll know the eye's precise location. The thought of concluding our elder's curious and challenging search increases my heart's temperature, my love. Cassava tells me he and the const construction yard crew have determined a power setting we are not under any circumstances to go above. I see, and am I right to think that consequently we'll be ignoring that setting? <laughs> I can posit with nearly 100% certainty our friends have accounted for our natures, so I suggest we do. Giving the orbital probe cannon all the power it can structurally withstand creates the greatest chance of finding the eye of the universe. Did you know only 99.9% .9 of horses are human free? <laughs> I'm not sure how to take that value. Yes, the probe must travel as fast as it can, as far as it can. I'll make some adjustments. Okay, interesting... Interesting observations. There's a cute couple. This is Giant's Deep. Oh yeah, this is Giant's Deep. I've been here. Okay. Um, well... Summer full of men historically. Oh. I'm seeing it now. Fucking Gabbro just chilling out there. He has the audacity to chill at a time like this. You know what? More power to him, though. <laughs> One out of every thousand horses has a man inside? Maybe multiple. 
Um, this was a cool place. Kind of not knowing... Oh god, how do I get out of here? Gravity is upsetting, and it's not letting me out. Okay. Night dumb. I'm probably going to bed soon, too. Ooh, 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 we're going pretty fast. Um, so... I'm going to number two, regardless of what's over there. I'm not going to number two, because it's blocked. I don't want to launch my scout, I want to go. I want to be. I know it's out there, but, like, I want to be out there. Oh! Oh. So there's a crack in... Yeah, I mean, I guess I could get there by, like, going outside. But I don't wanna. That sounds really scary. I also don't know if I would survive. <laughs> uh, that's fine. Uh, we'll, we'll just go to the third one and we'll consider the next one after. Oh, we'll consider it now then, I guess. Okay. I hate this. I hate this. I hate it. I hate it. Every single time I watch, like, um, um, a mission where they're like out actually on the structure, I get so scared. Like a real life mission, not like a, <laughs> a mission in this game. Um, oh, I don't, I don't know where I'm going. The flashlight helps, especially because like when it's like live streamed and every, oh, there it is. The, the video cuts out sometimes and it's like in really grainy black and white. I love those net- no, they scare me so much. They scare me maybe more than like legitimately actual like horror movies do. <laughs> I get so scared. Because it's real. Ugh. I don't want to think about it. Imagine. I don't want to imagine. We're not imagining right now. Please. <laughs> Imagine, Privet, the probe tracking module will be the first to know the coordinates of the eye of the universe. You'll be the first to see them. I'm honored and terrified. I'm just terrified right now. <laughs> you won't ask the orbital probe cannon to use so much power that it breaks, will you? Fred, not, my nervous friend. We only need to fire the probe once anyway. So who minds if it compromises the orbital probe cannon's structural integrity slightly? Seems a little more than slightly. I would mind, Mallow. I would mind because we won't be capable of receiving our probe's data if the probe tracking module is destroyed. And this is... Oh, Dallas Guardian, thank you for following. Oh, there's a thing in there! Fuck! Wait. Oh, how do I get in this one? Wait, this is... How do we get in th Ooh. Okay, so three... Three has the... the oh, okay, hang on. I'm gonna die if I think about it too much. Let's just go to three. Let's just try and find three and go. Oh, I can't go out this way. Wait, where... Wait, where is that? It was... Uh... Okay. I'm gonna run out of fuel and die. Is 
cell phone signal died at the soccer fields right as we were going to land on the sun. <laughs> oh no. Okay, is this a good landing place? But that doesn't really get me anything. Oh man. Okay, my ship's here. That's something. Oh, my ship! Bro, my ship. I'm so stupid. Why don't I just... Yeah. There we go. Um. Hello, knock knock. Where? Oh, is the third one like somewhere like on... Oh, well, okay. Let me just crash into the planet. So the third one's not on the ship, on the spaceship out there. The docking station or whatever you would call it. It's like somewhere else, right? And it's somewhere out here, I guess? Like it crashed into the planet? Probably. I don't know, I'm gonna go ask Gabro about, uh... <laughs> meditation again. I still have Toddbot on like full capacity in, in my own Discord server <laughs> and sometimes people forget it and then they'll say something. Like when you're not constantly talking about games like Starfield or Skyrim or saying names like Todd, um, you don't notice him. He just sort of fades into the background. Hey buddy. Popped up when mentioning finding a corn farm. <laughs> nice. Um, what are you doing out here? Well, no, I asked him about that. Uh, where should I explore on Giant's Deep? Here's something you might like. At the start of every time loop, I keep seeing a bright flash in the sky. Something must be happening up there in orbit around the planet. Yeah, I, I've been there, but like, I don't know. I don't know, man. What else? What else? Have you been to Statue Island? That's what I've been calling it, seeing as it's the island where I found the glowing Nomai statue. Get it? Where is that island? I was on a... I was on the beach on Statue Island when the whole glowy business happened, by the way. It's a nice beach for that kind of thing. I give it a solid 7 out of 10 on the Gabbro relaxation scale. I'm glad he has a scale. If you feel like checking out this statue island, it's the one with the two islands connected by a natural rock arch. Well, mostly connected anyway, you'll see. I, I don't... My head hurts already thinking about going anywhere. Hey, yo, what's up with this planet? Ha ha, I know, right? Oh, you meant like, tell you more about it? I got you. Well, Giant Steep is massive and mostly water. No surprises there. There's a strong current that lays beneath the surface that prevents anything from sinking below it. Seriously, I tried everything I could think of to get past that current and neither idea worked. <laughs> he thought of two things. That's great. As for land masses, I've counted four islands, including this one. There's also the one with that Nomai statue I saw on the beach. You've seen the cyclones? Yeah, they're hard to miss. They toss up everything in their path, islands included. Little tip, if you get picked up, try to land in water. Less likely to kill you. Uh, yeah, where's your ship? That's a good question. <laughs> it's definitely on this planet somewhere. I mean, unless a cyclone came by and tossed it into space, I guess. <laughs> that would be pretty nuts. I hope it's not lonely. Okay, I, I kind of like him and kind of hate him at the same time. You know, he's doing his best. Um, I'm also stranded on this and my ship is, you know, there. A statue on the island was a gift from the French. I'm just gonna land here if I can. That would be nice. Wait, I want to look up into space. It's always important. Oh. Alright, well, there are other islands. I don't know how to find them. A few things bring me joy, like watching others play Outer Wilds for the first time. It's- oh no, the thing! Well, there we go.
We're gonna do maybe one more thing, and then I might cut stream off. Especially because my loud boy in the background. And I feel like having a tiny snack, because I didn't really have dinner. Alright. We're going back to space. Cold pasta salad. I don't like cold pasta or cold soup. I like all of my desserts cold, I like all of my coffee cold, and I like all of my pasta hot. Although I guess there is like some cold pasta salads that I will eat. I just don't prefer it. Cherry tomatoes, olives, and Italian dressing. I mean, that's not bad. It could be worse. Liquid cake, cake flavored vodka, hazelnut liqueur, chocolate syrup. <laughs> I want to throw up. <laughs> oh man, I would not be able to stomach it. I would have to be already drunk. <laughs> These are your bots. Hang on. Somebody type lunch again. I don't wanna. I don't wanna tab out of the game. Daikatana, sake, ginger syrup, lime juice, and a sword garnish? That sounds delicious, especially the sword. I cast food saga, it summons a flurry of filet of fish. Okay, well, I guess we're having a beautiful um, sake based drink and we're going to McDonald's. <laughs> ranch Dorito. Oh, buffalo cauliflower burritos with vegan ranch dressing. That sounds tasty. Some uh, buffalo ranch. That's a nice combo. Uh, I have no idea what I'm doing right now. Let's let's look at the little screen that tells me what, what good I've done. I don't like ranch, but it's better than filet of fish. I'm like, I'm medium on ranch. There's a lot of places where I wouldn't, like I wouldn't put ranch on a salad, you know? Probe fucking module. Yeah, you know, when you want to fuck a probe. If I was- anything I put on a salad, it's usually like a raspberry vinaigrette. Um, I might do Caesar, Caesar salad. Uh, what else? Those are like my two, really. And then like regular vinaigrette. Um... Just do my salad dry. <laughs> Sorry, I have to call the police now. I think I found a serial killer. <laughs> I eat salad dry too. Oh my god. Please, listen, chat, I love you. Please don't kill me when you decide. <laughs> At most olive oil. Like an olive oil based dressing. Yeah, I wouldn't do just olive oil. I feel it's too like, I don't know. A ranch berry. Oh, that sounds so disgusting, but I would love to see someone do it. Wait, are you saying it because you do it? Oh no. Ranch is a lot better when you make it from the powder. Are you guys trying to kill me before I even get into space? <laughs> it would be Pepto Pink. Yo, pink sauce. You just made pink sauce 2.0. <laughs> Does anyone have a normal salad opinion? <laughs> I'm sorry, where are the normal salad opinions? <laughs> Salad normative language. Generic Italian dressing. I like zesty Italian. I like golden Italian. Um, those are the two Italians that I know about. I do enjoy those. They seem pretty basic, but I've always enjoyed Italian dressing. I saw the probe tracking module through a Nomai projection tool. It looked like the module is underwater. I could see purple electricity outside the viewport. So is it, like, in the middle of the planet, or is it just underwater? Oh, man. Oh, jeez. Pale Italians? Those are valid, too. Speaking of Italians, um, Instagram kept recommending me. Let me, let me just shoot off into space. We'll decide to go somewhere random into space while I talk about the Italians that um, Instagram was recommending me. There was one account Instagram kept recommending me every time I opened it, which is not often. Um... And it was just this Italian man who was like really, really, really into his cats, which I understand. You may hear my giant loud son in the background often, and I do pay attention to him and his needs, his silly little needs. Um, but yeah, it was just an Italian man that like talks about cats a lot. 
but it, like his channel is not like he's not an Italian man who speaks English he was an Italian man who speaks Italian fully on his channel and like all the subtitles are in Italian I'm like you know what I took Italian um can I tell it oh 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 we're not going there we're not going in we're not going in the sun we're going in the sun fuck <laughs> so like sometimes when I'm going to bed I just watch like Italian Catman videos. And honestly, I think it's helping me brush up on my Italian again. Because it's about something relatable. Hey, what's with the red dot? Il Gatto. Yeah, I'm learning a lot of cat-related phrases. And phrases to do with adoration and admiration and... Hey Dot, what's going on? I don't know why we're stopping so soon. Can cuss in Hungarian and I know how to say it. I, I eat men nut. That's the best phrase you could know in any language. Hey. Hey Thing. Oh. Uh... Oh, no... How do I, uh... Okay. Um... Well, fuck. I guess, uh... I guess I know what I'm gonna do. Ooh! I don't like this. It upsets me. <laughs> Why do we make so much stuff out of wood as a society? Okay, hang on. Uh. What? What are you? Deep Space Radio? Okay. Um... But can I fix it? Next time I will try and seduce it. So there's a way to safely get to the sun station from this. Apparently. And I guess I'll find it. On all this damn sand. Time to touch sand. So there is like a big pillar up here. Is this? Ooh, ooh. Okay. Um, but that's going up. So maybe I want to go to the other pole of the planet. Oh, oh. Maybe just like hit the side of this building, please. It is kind of covered in sand, you know? That's, uh, always... Always a problem with these places. Ooh, a scroll! A clue scroll? Let's, um... Where the fuck do I plug this in? <laughs> A 
anyone, uh, anyone literate in this town? My birthday is next month. May I request Simon for October? Um, we can definitely get some Simon cam during October. I think that would be pretty easy. Oh, hey, it's the thing. Wait, should I take the, the teleporter with the scroll? Maybe I'll do that in a sec. Oh, wait, no. I think we could get a pinch of Simon Cam. A cam is good enough. I cannot ship him. He is too fluffy to fit in any box. He would break out. Friends of it is visiting from Hanging City. We're planning the Ash Twin project at the High Energy Lab on Ember Twin's equator. I became lost on Ember Twin. My gratitude that Remy found me, but the High Energy Lab is the building with the large solar panels. I'm surprised I didn't see it. I imagine our otherwise immensely clever Konoi would lose his own head if it weren't anatomically impossible. Okay. Um, I'm here because they said there was a way, which may be one of these, is it? If I just stand here long enough? If I just, like, look into it? If I just... If I just believe in myself? No, okay. <laughs> what about you? Do you work? Do you do the thing? I don't actually know how these things work yet. Like, I know that they teleport me. But I don't actually know how. Hmm... Can you punch it? If they let me punch things, I would feel much more safe. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, these don't work. Maybe I gotta pray to them. Oh, great little glowy ball, please. Allow me to travel from here to a place that I actually want to be. I realize I'm dying slowly. Um. Well, jinkies, Scoob. I don't know. And I don't know. Who murdered that guy back there? Sand. Sand always did it on this planet. Oh, trees. Sweet. I was just resigning myself to death. Wait, where'd the sand go? Hey, sand! Whoa! Whoa! Ah. Yeah, call me Anakin right now, because I am not... Okay, what about you? You seem to work. You look worky. Come on, beam me up, Scotty. Do, do me a favor. Do your magic. Go, go, gadget. Big purple... Oh! Okay. Fuck, I'm here. Wait. Fuck, I'm... Fuck, I'm on Earth. No, take me back. Bring me back, please. I'm ready. Ding dong. Hey. Hey. Hey, you. Hey, buddy. Hey, hey, fuck face. You take me back to that planet that I was on. So help me God, I will shatter you. You fucking Goomba. Get your... Get your, get your magic, your space magic, put me back in the sky. Put me back in the sky right now. No, oh. 
Okay. So we're back. I heard some sort of sound. Probably just one of these. That moon looks really suspicious, you know? Seems like one of them. Wait, hang on. Yeah, I fucking figured. I figured, you dirtbag moon. Goddamn quantum moon. Where does this one go? Oh, this place seems pretty good. I I have a vague notion of where we are. Yeah, the Black Hole Forge, which is a place that I wanted to go, but like, I don't really know what I'm supposed to do in this exact place. And also, I have a feeling that maybe we're running out of time. Oh! Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, I shouldn't have. Oh, I should. Ow, I. Fuck. Yeah. That was a pretty lively journey we went on. I am cozy ending here. Thank you guys so much for joining me today for more Outer Wilds. I had fun. I don't feel like I accomplished like anything. <laughs> I think that's like the major thing about this game. Like I haven't hit the point where I'm like, it's all coming together. We're getting things, you know? It's all like piecing itself together and and like doing something magnificent. But I guess we'll get there eventually, right? I mean, we have to. Um, if you guys wanna join me for more of this later, I don't know if we're doing it tomorrow. Tomorrow, either we're doing more Dark Souls or I'm gonna take a stream break and get some stuff done around the house and get some work done. Um, but I will see you guys the day after, which is, like, what? Today's Friday, right? Is it Flat Fuck Friday? I will see you guys either Saturday or Sunday. Um, maybe a bit earlier than the time we started this time? It's only Thursday? Oh, tomorrow's Flat Fuck Friday? Alright, well, maybe we'll, we will have to do one stream for that. Um, I will see you guys Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. We don't have a great schedule here. <laughs> Um, and Simon will see you too. He's been hanging out with us all night. He's been so sleepy. Just very snug with us. Oh, you asshole. <laughs> He's trying to knock stuff off my desk right now. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna leave you guys with... The beautiful skies for a tiny bit. So if you wanna just hang out here and listen to this for a little while... Um, you can. We're just gonna... I'm gonna leave this basically until I die, and then stream's gonna cut out. So I hope you enjoy... the beautiful space... up out there with all the beautiful stars. And the endless possibilities. And then death! <laughs> Alright, good night everyone. Enjoy your night sky.
All right, for anyone who's stuck around waiting to die, I did just see the moon. And also, oh, meditate until next loop. I didn't know I had that option now. Um, there is one thing I wanted to show chat before we end. Um, that's this good boy. He's been hanging out with us the entire night. And, uh, just, just very sweepy. Just so sweepy. <laughs> okay, good night everybody. I'm gonna go snuggle with Simon. I hope you had a wonderful outer wilding.